our audiences at national and international level, I salute you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. My name is Akasimante Sinai, an associate pastor of Ambassadors of Encouragement Ministries International. Here at Ambassadors of Encouragement International, we believe in a courageous generation that is able to inherit the kingdom of God. And we want to see a world that is full of men and women, boys and girls, who can stand and defend the mysteries of our faith. Today, as I start, the message I want to bring to you in this precarious situation of COVID-19 is that there is still hope. And amidst all these problems that have been caused by COVID-19, where families have been devastated, nations have been brought to their knees, and everything seems like things have fallen apart. But I want to tell you that amidst all this precarious situation, God is still with you. God knows you. God has not forgotten you. God has not forsaken you. He's aware of the sufferings that you are going through. When we look in the book of Job, chapter 1, we see Job as a man who was righteous. He was a man who feared God and shunned evil. And God was proud of him. But one day, a calamity struck. He lost all his wealth and his family. As if that was not enough, he was struck by a pestilence, which devastated his life and he became like a pauper. Because of that, God restored him. He restored him and doubled his wealth and even gave him more beautiful children than he had at the, at the, at the, at the beginning. Friend, are you in a state of hopelessness? Are you worried that this situation will not take, leave you alive? I want to assure you, like Job did, God is with you. He will restore you and keep you alive. Lord is, 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 is faithful. Our Lord is faithful. Our Lord is immutable. Because he's immutable, he will give you life again. Because he's faithful, he will bring you up again. As Paul reminds us in the, in the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 4, verse 8, that we are hard pressed on all sides, but we are not crushed. We are perplexed, but not driven into despair. We are persecuted, but not for a second. We are struck down, but not destroyed. My friend, if you are in that kind of state, I want to tell you that just put your trust in God. You will not be finished. I want to pray, for, to pray with some of you who may be in that state of hopelessness. Please, I want to pray with you and ensure that your hope is restored. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I come to you with these people all over the world. Those ones who have been affected by this COVID-19 pandemic, I, rest, I want you to restore their, their hope, Lord. I want you to save them. I want you to show yourself to them. Go to them and strengthen them. Encourage them, Lord, as you encourage Job to go through that all those afflictions that he, he passed through. As Paul has told us, no one will be crushed even if he's hard pressed. No one will be perplexed even if he doesn't know what will come next. People are in the lockdown. They don't know what to do. Their businesses have been, have, have crumbled. The economies have crumbled. Everybody thinks that he will not come up again. But Lord, I trust you and I declare life in them. I declare prosperity in them as it is written in Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 that the thoughts you have for us are not for evil, but they are for peace and a future, a future that will give us hope. Lord, let it be in Jesus' name I have prayed. Amen.